everybody welcome to our third webinar today on the topic of, of timber fill design of nature we have set a little bit of Christmas atmosphere so we hope that you will enjoy it we are again together here after the last webinar my name is Martin I'm responsible for 3d printing and this is Martina our special specialist and uh, she will introduce you our timber fill, uh, the properties and also take a look into the production of this special material. So what is timber fill made of? It is mixture of biopolymers, bioplastics and wood fibers. Uh, the difference between biopolymers and bioplastics is huge. Uh, biopolymers are isolated directly from the nature. It is for example uh, cellulose, the lignin and uh, proteins and uh, it is without uh, any uh, human technology. Uh, but bioplastics, uh, they are made of biosourced materials, but they are made by our technology. For example, PLA, it is from the Stark and uh, after isolating the monomer, we prepare the polymer. And uh, besides this, uh, there are also some polyhydroxyalkanoids, some natural waxes, some uh, oils and other additives. Uh, it is filled with 15 weight percent uh, of natural fibers. It is isolated from the spruce. And uh, all of this uh, influences the material properties. Uh, first of all, I will mention the compostability. Uh, it is uh, <coughs> compostable in the industrial compost uh, because we need to set the right temperature. Uh, it is called the temperature of glass transition, where the polymer starts to soften. Uh, it starts to uh, moving its polymer chains, therefore the bacteria uh, can easily get between the chains and start eating the, uh, the molecule. Uh, without the temperature it is just tough and uh, tough and uh, solid materials, therefore the bacteria can't eat it easily. Uh, but uh, for example in comparison with PLA, uh, this mixture of biopolymers and the content of the fibers helps the bacteria to uh, easily get in and uh, it is their natural environment, therefore they can uh, more easily uh, eat it. <laughs> Uh, other property uh, that, will, uh, that we will have a look is temperature resistance. As I mentioned, it's about 20, oh, sorry, 55 uh, degrees. Uh, it's similar to PLA and uh, therefore it is uh, better to use it for uh, some room temperature uh, applications. But if you need something solid uh, and strong, uh, you may, uh, you may uh, use this material. It is uh, not so brittle that it uh, looks like, for example, the filament is easily breakable, but the, uh, the printed object can be, can be easily bended. Uh, the strength of this material is quite high. Uh, we have tested with the hammer and it looks very well, so don't, uh, don't think that it is so brittle you can't uh, use it. Uh, other uh, very great property is its uh, genuine uh, wood surface. It looks uh, very nice uh, and uh, you can also uh, influence it by the layer height, by the nozzle uh, diameter and uh, play with, uh, with the surface appearance. Uh, also, uh, the nice uh, smell is great uh, in case of timber fill. It uh, really smells during the processing, but also after some time, if you uh, try uh, some part that is a little bit hidden, it uh, really smells like the real wood. Uh, and what is connected with the fibers and the bio-based polymers that are biodegradable? It's uh, the moisture absorption. You have to pay uh, attention on this because uh, it easily uh, absorbs the moisture and during the printing it may uh, cause uh, some 
uh, some bubbles and uh, under extrusion and other stuff that is not what we look for in 3D printing. Uh, now we have a look into the production. Uh, we will uh, see how it is made. Uh, it comes from the pellets that need to be uh, dried under uh, certain conditions. It is uh, put into the hopper. Uh, it can be with the master batch that uh, contains the pigment and uh, we get the four versions of colors. Uh, then it is melted in the extruder uh, at temperature of uh, about uh, 160 degrees. Uh, after it is calibrated in the water tanks and all these uh, temperatures and uh, speeds are given precisely specified to, uh, to achieve the best quality across all the batches that we produce. Uh, the quality is controlled by, uh, controlled by the X-ray uh, in three axes and uh, after the spool is winded, weighed and labeled well. Uh, it comes uh, to packaging department where it is vacuumed, uh, put into aluminium foil uh, with silica gel to maintain the moisture uh, level. Uh, then it is evacuated, which also increases uh, the moisture level stability and put into paper box and uh, the last one is the protective foil. Uh, after it comes into the warehouse where it waits for your Christmas package. And now you know everything about the timber fill and its properties and also about the production, packaging and all the stuff around. So it's time to look up at 3D printing settings and few basic tips for your success. Uh, the first and the most important thing is definitely the nozzle size. If you are using standard 0.4 uh, nozzle, it can lead into jams. Uh, for the smaller objects, uh, it is possible to print with this size, but I highly don't recommend it for uh, unexperienced users. Uh, so 0.5 mm nozzle for standard 1.75 mm filament is definitely a good start point. For the 2.85 mm filament we definitely recommend uh, 0.6 or 0.8 mm nozzle uh, because the filament contains 15% of uh, spruce fibers um, the jams can happen because uh, it's not uh, too much, and, but it's not also too low of contains, so uh, be careful with that. Uh, uh, we have also prepared some showcase uh, what can happen if you are printing uh, large objects with 0.4 nozzle. As I mentioned, uh, the small object is fine because uh, it's not so much of filament, uh, not so much of time. Uh, but uh, longer filaments, definitely 0.5 mm nozzle is, uh, is, is great. Uh, also, the second tip uh, is about the speed. Uh, usually timber fill is better to print with higher speeds than basic PLA, uh, 40 to 60 mm uh, per second, because uh, the timber fill is uh, made of real spruce. Uh, so the content, the fibers can uh, start to degrade uh, under, under uh, low speeds of printing or can burn and this, this is also could lead into jams. And the last steps uh, for printing or maybe for handling the filament is definitely the storage. Um, as, the, as the filament contains the real fibers of wood, uh, it's, it's quite hygroscopic, so keep, this, uh, keep the filament in proper uh, storage, airtight bag with desiccants uh, is, is the safe bet, uh, because if the filament uh, gets wet, um, you have uh, lots of troubles with printing. And uh, what are the printing settings for this filament? Uh, well, the printing temperature is around uh, 165 to 185 degrees of Celsius. The speed 40 to 60 millimeters per second, as I mentioned. Uh, part cooling fan definitely uh, cool that material as fast as, as you can. So 100% is, is recommended. 
you can print this material on any surface you almost use for 3D printing. Uh, BEI, mirror, glass, uh, Beltec, Captain, blue tape, also lock pad. Uh, there is no need for special treatment of the belt surface. Uh, if you are want to be sure that uh, the print object uh, is stuck to bed uh, in proper way, use Magic Glue 3D Lug, uh, PVA glue stick, or something like that. You usually use for PLA or other basic uh, print filaments. Besides the 3D printing by these uh, 3D printers, we can also use the 3D pen. For example, 3D Simi, Simo. Uh, we will have a look on the processing. Uh, it is very easy to uh, process it uh, with this device. Uh, we have also 15 meter samples that can be used uh, perfectly for, uh, for this processing. Uh, the only thing is that we need to pay attention on the moisture. Uh, as I have mentioned, uh, it can uh, increase the, uh, the bubbles and uh, it won't uh, look so nice. And in 3D pen, uh, it is uh, more uh, visible uh, that it is not processed very well. Uh, uh, so, for example, uh, we can show you why uh, we have set uh, this uh, material for the Christmas time. Uh, it is uh, great for the ornament flask, for your decoration of the table, uh, for the fake gingerbread man and uh, other decoration that, uh, that is on your imagination. Uh, we have also prepared a jewelry uh, that uh, was matched with the bow tie. Uh, we have prepared the earrings and the uh, hair clip. Uh, this is perfect material for this because of the surface like the genuine uh, wood. Uh, you can see on the jewelry that it is easy, uh, easy to glue. Uh, we have glued uh, with the uh, cyanoacrylates, but the important thing is that it needs to be uh, prepared by the primer because uh, the 3D printed object uh, have the, has the uh, surface uh, influenced by the layers and uh, therefore we need to disrupt this structure a little bit by the primer and uh, after uh, when it's glued it is very resistant. Uh, other post-processing that we can apply is uh, sanding, like the uh, real wood, there's no problem and uh, we can also achieve a very smooth uh, surface of this object. Uh, we can also paint it, uh, it's easily uh, paintable by standard uh, uh, paints for the wood and uh, smoothing is very similar to PLA. Uh, well, also what is uh, maybe important to mention that this material could be stained by mineral oils like real wood. Okay, and now the time for the case studies. Uh, we have prepared two, uh, two of them, so let's take a look. Our first case study is the Spirulida, which is a very important project in filamentum history. It was made uh, in cooperation with designers from Akemake, who created the world's first 3D printed speaker from wood. Uh, they have used this 100% uh, bio-based material from uh, wood, the, our timber fill. And uh, this speaker uh, was uh, designed by Ondra Chotovinsky and it was based on uh, the deep sea squid-like species. Uh, wood is commonly used in building speaker uh, due to its physical characteristics of improving quality. In uh, 2014, after a few months of releasing Timberfill and creating uh, this spirulida, uh, it was a great move for Filamentum that uh, started the exhibition in uh, London 
EBA uh, and uh, it was uh, the opportunity to bring uh, Filamentum into the known brands and uh, from these times uh, we have uh, we have started to be well known for great materials and uh, great filaments not only in hobby sector but also in industrial sphere. Uh, to print this uh, spirulina it takes uh, around 18 hours of uh, pure printing. Uh, each half is printed separately uh, without any support material to achieve the best possible surface quality. Um, and after the printing, uh, you have to complete the final speaker. So it's around two, two hours of uh, gluing, bonding, uh, soldering and uh, assembling the components. Uh, the weight of one speaker is around 600 to 650 uh, grams of uh, material. So for one speaker, you usually need uh, one roll of timber fill. The second uh, case study is from UB Design. Uh, it was the project of uh, two students from Estonia uh, when they came with the idea of future design for the lamp shades. Uh, they have chosen the uh, PLA and timber fill uh, because of interesting material properties and perfect printed, uh, printed texture that uh, looks uh, more uh, like the textile than like the sterile plastic. Uh, so it was the right choice because the lampshades uh, look very well. It took about a year of using and testing the final product. Uh, other lamp components are textile cables, metal pipes, um, they use also metal sockets. Uh, this product can be used from uh, floor to ceiling and what is, uh, what is maybe important, well n not maybe but definitely important that uh, the complete package of uh, this, uh, this product uh, is, in, uh, is packed in an environmentally friendly manner from the, from the beginning to the end. Well, this is almost everything from today's webinar, so I hope you have enjoyed uh, the session with two of us. And as it's Christmas time, we have prepared some uh, special offer for you, uh, because we, we believe that uh, in everybody is a piece of creativity. So we prepared uh, some a special bundle promo for Timberfill. Uh, you can buy samples, so don't hesitate. Uh, don't be afraid, you have seen some special application and case studies about the Timberfill, so maybe we have inspired you. Um, so, check the website. I hope that you have all also uh, collect all the information that you need for your application and projects. If you haven't, so check the website. Uh, there is plenty of information, the data sheets, the filter for the comparison of the materials. If you're still not uh, ready, if it is the right choice for your application, just write us on uh, the help desk we will help you with the material choice uh, i hope you have enjoyed uh, our webinar uh, thank you very much for joining us today and have a nice christmas time merry christmas bye